Aquarius. Why you got them so delirious, boo? It is me. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of February. For February. Yes, indeed, baby. Shout out to everyone who is having a birthday. Shout out to all of my loves. I hope 2020 is doing the damn thing for you because you know 2020 and show me the money season. Oh, for a reason, baby. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all my divine masculines out there that are Aquarius. You know that this is y'all takeover season. Y'all are not playing this year, okay? We are reloading. Load up the damn gat, y'all. All right. So listen, shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, only thing you need to do is click the About tab. My pricing list is there. Um, make sure that you send me a message on Instagram. That's where we will be conducting the video reading. If you do not have Instagram, don't worry about that. Only thing you need to do is download Google Hangouts and use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. If you have any questions or concerns, if these videos resonate and you just want to shoot me a message and say whatever, tell me what's going on, you want to chitty chat up, you can always send me a message on Instagram or again, you can use that email again, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Alrighty. If anyone wants to send any love and support, thank you guys so, so very much for all the love and support that you guys have sent me throughout 2019. As you can see, the majority of these decks here have been sent by you guys from the Amazon wish list. Um, thank you guys so much for um, your donations through Cash App, through PayPal. I thank you guys so, so very much for all of the love. If these videos resonate at any point in time and you would like to send a donation of love and appreciation, you can most likely and most definitely feel free to do so. All of the information to contact me or to send love and support is all in the About tab, all right? So let's get into this energy, Aquarius. Let's say a quick prayer over the energy and just give thanks, Father God. Yes, Father. We come here today, Father God, just humble. We come here, Father God, just feeling your blessings and your just anointed hand on us, Father. We thank you so much for the vision in 2020. We know exactly where we're going, and you were just showing us every step of the way, signs of how to get there, Father God. We thank you so much for you just, you know, uplifting us and just putting us in this platform right now where we're just like on an even state you know things are just evening out in our life and we're just so thankful for it. father god we know valentine's day is coming up we're out here you know willing and accepting to receive and give love father god please give us blessings please give us guidance please give us the pure energy that we need to walk with our head held high to receive all of the blessings that got our name on it. in the name of the father son and holy spirit yes god amen come on y'all y'all better come on through and claim it all right, so we're going to use the Love Tarot deck here. The Oracle deck, excuse me. Ooh. What just popped out here? Playfulness. Playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. All right, now. All right, let's see what else we got here. What else we got for Aquarius for February? That's a lot. Okay, let's see what we got, though. Let's see what we got. We got a message for you, okay? It says, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, so this sounds like a good relationship here. Y'all got a lot of playfulness, a lot of laughter. It's a lot of text messages going back and forth where y'all are exchanging just like, you know, little moments of just like, how much y'all love each other. How much y'all are constantly thinking of each other. And I got friendship here. Come on now. It says nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship. And your love life will dramatically improve. I like this y'all. I really do. Lo I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Okay. I am loving this love energy surrounding Aquarius. It says you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through term or a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, so it seems like some people, I just, like, I feel like they're having just this exchange 
after having some time of separation or just like difficulty in a relationship and they're just now and, and, like let's keep it 100 I've been in long term relationships sometimes the biggest fights when y'all really really be mad at each other and then y'all go through these little moments of times when y'all not talking and y'all not fucking with each other and then when you're separated and you not talking to your best friend every day. The person that you share your every waking moment with, your goods, your downs, your highs, your lows, just everything. And they're not there. It make you realize just how much important their smile is. How important just knowing how their day is. Just all of those little things like that. And it brings you closer together when you go through these little spats sometimes. So... Yeah, what is this saying? Emotions are natural and a necessary part of life. They can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So whatever whatever this was that took y'all apart and brought y'all together where now you're willing to... Like, have a little bit more lightfulness, a little bit more joy, and, like, really start expressing just how much you... Because I swear, it, it, it ain't nothing like the fear of losing someone that'll <laughs> make you realize just how much you love someone, and you better tell them how much you love them, because you never know. And that moment of y'all not being together in that little quick moment of separation might have just scared the shit out of someone, and now it's like, no, that not... You know, like, how someone be like, they say, okay, I love you. And then the other person don't say nothing. And you just be like, damn, you can't say you love me back. And they be like, but you know I love you. No, tell me that you love me. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, they're definitely expressing that. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. The natural bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the... Greatest hell. Go to a comedy show. That's what y'all need to do. The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. So, yeah, there was most definitely a situation where someone did something sneaky. Someone did something un underhanded. There was some cheating. There was something where... It's something, I feel like it's still some shit that maybe someone doesn't know that they're holding, that they feel ashamed about. And this woman's back was turned to this person. It's like, this is someone that, okay, it's like, I know her schedule. I know what time she gets off. I know what time she takes her break. I know this, is and that. So it was like a level of predictability in this person's schedule and their lifestyle where they thought that they could be slick and they could slide something in and try to do something that they shouldn't been doing. Do you understand? And at the end of the day, I don't care how slick you are. People can feel that energy when someone is doing something wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this person feels very, very ashamed of them trying to get away with whatever it was. I definitely felt like they were getting away with it. Look, there you go. Look. The, <laughs> look. The, <laughs> the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this was definitely a situation where someone would have thought that they was a little playboy, was in and out. You know, playboy or play girl. It was definitely whoever it was. Whoever it was, was ever an air sign or a fire sign that was most definitely running in and out, philandering around, you know, kind of driven by their sexual wiles, you know, eager to kind of shake hands with new people. What is this? The Eight of Cups in the reverse, and, the, and this person wants to come back. And y'all know the retrograde is coming too, y'all. Y'all know the retrograde is coming. So this is someone who definitely feels ashamed for their cheating and their in and out behavior and not being faithful, not being committed, just um, 
I don't necessarily even say that this person has fair commitment. It was just like this person kind of wanted to do what they wanted to do. And they didn't. And people really have this level of arrogance with them where they think that they're so slick that no one is going to leave them. No one is really going to reject them. You see how this man is trying to make this advance towards this woman. She's like, no, leave me alone. Like, I'm good because I still remember what you did. I remember this shit. Like, my back is still turned to you. Like, I don't really know what you want me to say to you you know what i'm saying because you thought that you could take my kindness for weakness and you thought that you can manipulate me and lie to me and, and, and come in and come out and you just thought that that door was always going to be open and i don't i don't know if it's open here you know what i'm saying i don't know if it, this is open here let's see the nine of pentacles so this is this is a situation where i'm getting this here so this is someone that I feel like it's, ooh, this is, oh, this is retrograde, baby. So, this is someone that fucked up. And it's like they remember the playfulness. They remember the light, the lighthearted times. They remember um, how much this person really expressed their love to them for them to have their back turned to them like this. It got them shook like fuck right now. And maybe whatever is out there in the streets is not necessarily as pleasing to them as they thought because it's like, <laughs> clearly you want to come back. You're definitely not emotionally fulfilled. Wherever it was that you thought you was going in all of these other situations, there's definitely a halt where you realize, and I want to go back home. But whoever it is that you're dealing with, it seems like they're doing a little bit better without you than they were with you. And they have a feeling that the only reason why you're coming around is because you have the plans to take something from them. To take advantage of them, to live off of their assets and their riches. And they're like, I... I'm not going to, and, and, and I don't know if in the past maybe you used to take care of this person or something like that. This woman feels like, or this, I mean, because clearly this is like a man, you know, giving her some pleasure. But at the same time, that pleasure is costing her a little bit more than what she's realizing. Because he is like literally still like, what you about to do with that lock of hair? Like do some spells or something? That's the only thing I know niggas try to take hair for. It's the hermit in the reverse. So, it's like this person. Okay. So... Whoever this person was that got deceived, that got manipulated, that got used, and of course this energy can be reversed. Um, so it doesn't have to necessarily be a man that did this to a woman. It could be a, a, a woman that did this to an Aquarius male. Um, this person with this hermit being in reverse, you see how this person is sitting there with the candle and it seems like they're going in for inner guidance and having to block out what's right there so blatant in their face. You see these people in the background like fucking and shit. So it's like something where someone had to experience some shit kind of being like rubbed in their face. Like all of this partying and, and, and messing with all, like all of this it, it, it was like public or something like it's like they didn't ha they didn't try to hide it like I said it was a level of arrogance bravado like assholery going on here <laughs> you know what I'm saying and this person had to go within to learn how to not allow that to affect them anymore they had to like grow the fuck up because it's like I can't allow this person to keep triggering me like that and it's like deep in my heart I know my faith and my determination i deserve something better but it starts with self like i can't keep attracting i can't keep attracting people like this that want to come around and take from me and take advantage of me and want to manipulate me and sneak around and do fucked up shit that they can't look at me in my face and it's like that's the way that they knew that this person was running around sneaking and doing this this and that because it was like the person could not look them in their face anymore you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day I, i'm not stupid i know that energy I know that energy, and at this point of this person's life, like, they went through that, like, inner soul journey, and I feel like they're out and proud about where they're at in their life, I definitely feel like this person is single, they're successful, um, ever since they kind of went through that deep soul enrichment, um, 
like things just turned around for them things just turned around for them and they know that this person is only coming back to try to take something for them listen to the six of cups in the reverse this is someone that i feel there were a long like you guys could have known each other since high school since college or something like that or y'all could have been with each other for maybe like three to six years or something where it was a certain amount of time there where there were like memories you know um I definitely feel like this person looks back at those memories but at the same time when they look at those memories they I feel like the only thing that they see is you doing this shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I don't necessarily feel like they're good memories I feel like they're memories where um and you see how this person's dirty socks is up in the tree and things like that. It's like, I feel like they, it's like your, their dirty laundry or something like that. It's like they they try not to think and be reminded of your dirty laundry from the past. Do you understand? And even that, I feel like this person with this nine of pentacles, they like a, a, a very posh, um, luxurious, very... Um, expensive taste type of environment and they like their element clean you know like they don't want to come home and be picking up after someone's dirty ass socks and all of this stupid shit and everything like that and come home and the uh, yard ain't raked you got leaves all over the place but I got a grown ass man in the house or the man come home and the kitchen is dirty and you know it's still dirty clothes all over the place it's the sheen wash ain't do shit you know what I'm saying it's like like, those are the type of memories that this person is having. And it's like, I don't feel like it's something that they are prepared to, like, go back to, it, if you understand. You see those two doves at the bottom of this person's feet? She's rubbing her feet on these doves. It's like, this person wants peace. This person wants harmony. This person wants a loving environment. Something that is very... You know, I love you and you love me back. Like, I breathe you, you breathe me. Like, I am day, you are night. I am the sun, you are the moon. You know, type of thing like that. They don't want something that they look back and they're only thing they're thinking about is dirty laundry and pictures and envisions of how they had to get there, take some time out and get their stuff together because this person was out there fucking whoever they wanted to in front of your face like you wasn't nobody like that's that's no no finances and career i told y'all y'all money is going to fuck up nothing can stop me i'm on the way up sometimes when you take a step back from things that were just not emotionally fulfilling for you and that were I mean, it just wasn't connecting. Like, I'm not going to be somewhere where it's just not. I'm not. I don't want to be somewhere where I'm not wanted. You want to be out here in the streets doing all of this and this and that. The streets can't have you put in. You know what I'm saying? My finances is more important to me right now. That makes more logical sense because I'm not going to go back and forth with this here. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? Let go of control issues. This is someone that is still not willing to let go. It's like they finally regain control of their life and they got balance. Their money is coming in good. Like their karma slate is clean. And I do feel like they are most definitely open to being playful. Um, they are receiving text messages from new friends and things like that. Um... But there is a certain level of resentment to this shit right here. In the past, I feel like someone needs to let go because they do still um, look back at the dirty laundry. I don't know if you can still look at this current moment and still see this person. I don't know, using people, using other people for money and stuff like that, still running around doing the same, sh doing the same shit that you left them at, you know? And it's like, that's why I'm not willing to relinqu relinquish my control of my heart at this moment I'm focusing on my money like I'm collector gatherers you know I call my crew to collect the gatherers do you understand what I'm saying look past life relationship this person does not want anything that belong that <laughs> that belongs to a past life relationship doesn't want anything that reminds them of a past life relationship not the fuck at all it's like they're rather focused on their money it's like they they feel more fulfilled looking at their bank account and just meeting new friends and just trying to make new connections and you know things of that nature what is this 
let your friends help you mm -hmm. continue to like go out and just you know how Aquarius is you know that's why y'all be having them so delirious like y'all really do have this spunk this spontaneity about y'all's personality where like a lot of people just like gravitate to you y'all seem very quiet and reserved but like once y'all come on out y'all feel comfortable to let people into your world like you do have a lot of friends and y'all do know how to keep a lot of friendships but okay just stay optimistic about your love life is in the reverse i feel like you need to get your you need to get your um mojo back a little bit like go buy you some new clothes go get you something that's sexy you up handsome you up make you feel real good real appealing and everything like that what is it saying pay attention to the red flags in the reverse so it's 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 like i just it's okay i just heard i'm not able to i don't i I don't know how to see the signs. I'm not able to see the signs. It's like that's your fear. It's like you're not going to be able to notice and see the signs when they're in front of your face. When you're meeting new people. If they're toxic and you know if it's the right thing for you. Engagement. And, and exactly that's why you just don't want to engage. And it's like you rather just focus on your money. But you need to let your friends help you. Do you understand what I'm saying Aquarius? You need to let your friends help you. And please open up your heart to stay a little bit optimistic. And that's why they're saying like emotions are natural and a necessary part of life. And they can distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you got to let go of resentment. Listen, you got to look at that reflection and not see that person anymore. Do you understand? You got to look at your reflection and not see that person anymore. And not see what happened anymore. And let go of resentment and really kind of just let that go so things can just like progress. You know? And continue to go out there be playful and make new friendships and and, and message and, and communicate with new people i want you to continue to do that aquarius because things are going in the right way for you and at the end of the day i can't even focus on no love if my money ain't right do you understand what i'm saying if my pockets ain't tight if i'm struggling on my home base i i my i'm not getting aroused i don't want to engage with people if my money and, and shit ain't good and I'm not, and I don't talk to other people based on the money that they have because they money that they have don't benefit me at all. Cause just cause they got money don't guarantee that they gonna spend it on me. You know what I'm saying? When I'm coming to the table, I'm coming to the table strong. I'm coming to the table solid. I'm not coming to the table looking for nobody to provide or take care of me. If you're going to do that, you're going to do that on your own because that's what you want to do. I'm damn sure not coming to the table looking for that. Do you understand? So that's Aquarius. It's like, man, I got I got, listen, <laughs> I got to get my, my shit together. Okay? Forgiveness. Yes, I need to focus on forgiveness, you guys. But, and I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all going to have to deal with that, this retrograde, so just be prepared for that. Y'all going to have a lot of flash memories and a lot of emotions and stuff like that. And really, that's what this stage of, um, that's really what the um, full moon is about. It's about processing um, forgiveness and being thankful. Do you understand? And listen, commitment. Because this is what you want. You want commitment. You want love. You want loyalty. You want a relationship where there is playful engagement. And y'all do exchange those messages where you constantly know that you're being loved. That you're constantly being thought of. You want this person to be your best friend. But you can't have that level of commitment if you just don't forgive the things that people have done to you in the past and let that go. You understand? So that you can really exchange hands with the right people that is willing to give you that type of commitment. You can't find that and it can't attract itself to you if only thing you're attracting is thoughts from the past. Do you understand? You have to let that shit go. You got you got to let go of that resentment and you have to forgive. That's going to be a big lesson for you guys during February and during this retrograde. I'm letting y'all know right now. And I don't think that you're going to not be able to pay attention to the signs you just didn't see it before but that's the lesson and once you realize the whole lesson and i keep trying to tell people everyone keep holding on to these past relationships those relationships were the karmic you understand you haven't even met your true divine masculine you haven't even met your true divine feminine yet those were the lessons you can't keep holding on to the lessons where you're not retaining 
what nutrients you need in the future where you're standing at right now if you keep looking at the past you don't know where the hell you standing at right now to know where you're going you too busy looking back you understand so commitment is on the table here you got to commit to this forgiveness and let your friends help you baby what is this look refocus yes yes forgive commit to this commit to forgiving and it's time to get on that horse and it's time to get the moving and refocus what is this admire in the reverse and there's also some some level of it's like i just heard i want to dance again but I'm, I'm not getting i don't get no joy out of it anymore it's like something that you used to do something that you used to be um you need to refocus because you're not you're not blossoming in your passion anymore. You're dancing. You're making music. Um, you're designing. Your arts, your crafts, your gift. It's like... I don't know if you don't feel admired anymore. Like and if someone's not paying attention to you. But you're not paying attention to... Look, look, I mean, you need to... You need to let this go do you understand because you will be able to have a hundred percent focus and really get to where you're going and it's like you'll be able to love it again like for whatever reason it's like you fell out of love with your gift and you need to reawaken and you need to refocus it's like you need to commit to like really forgiving whatever this shit is and letting that shit go because it's like affecting your passions and stuff this reconnection this thought of these reconnections and stuff. And then you got to see the moon in the back. The moon can represent like falsehoods, fairy tales, and illusions. Like self-delusion. Do you understand? Lunacy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like um, going loony a little bit. Do you understand? So you need to like refocus. And I want you to recognize a little bit. It says recognition. 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 I feel like this recognition that you're looking for. It's like kind of driving you crazy almost. Like it's like. I'm not attracting the love. I'm not getting the. And it's like. Okay. This numbing. So recognition numbing. The admirer. I ain't even looking at those two yet. Let's just focus on what we got right here. Whatever they did, write it down. Put your heart into it. Put all your energy and everything that anybody did to you that made you hurt. Um, business, friendship-wise, love-wise, just in general, anything that might have hurt you. I want you that that you need to find forgiveness in so that you can be better. I want you to write that shit down and. I want you to just say a prayer over it that God I'm letting this go I release this energy into the universe because I no longer needed it no longer has place here in my heart and in my future um, I thank you for the experience and everything that I learned from these lessons and I'm prepared and I'm ready to move on and face my destiny amen and light that motherfucker up and watch it blow away in the goddamn wind do you understand what I'm saying and now it's time to commit and refocus on this and we need to admire ourselves again and remember why we love this passion and why we did this and why we started this and who we were in the beginning because it's like this recognition that you're looking for is going to continue to drive you crazy because you have to find it in yourself first. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to love yourself again. You got to remember who you were again. And it will stop numbing you. Do you understand? Like, it feels like your feelings are numb. Your emotions is numb. Where you can't even, like... You're not feeling like you're getting the recognition and the attention and stuff that you were looking for and that you're hoping for and it's like I, you almost feel burnt out about it almost and you're not even doing what what makes you you what is this stuff 
you feel like your phone is dry and that's why i feel like up here when they like y'all like who the fuck is this like who's getting all of this like yeah like y'all get really excited about it i want y'all to start getting excited about it because it's like once you kind of refocus and play in your mind with the fact that this is on the table for you it's on the table for you but then as as well as what's on your mind and what's keeping you from this do you understand what i'm saying aquarius like this recognition and stuff that you're looking for it has to you have to refocus and you have to regain that in yourself do you understand you gotta wash you gotta get up one morning wash this car up go down to track auto auto zone or whatever the fuck y'all got in y'all neighborhood go get you some new tires some new shocks some struts like even if you got a piece by piece by piece part by part by part start refurbishing this vehicle you don't have to go out there and go buy a whole new you can refurbish this and actually when you put your blood sweat and tears in it once you get that engine start going that bitch start purring again bitch and you start sliding down the street like bitch guess what okay i am reloaded bitch when you <laughs> try listen i did this okay i did this put some water on this clean this bitch up it's time to get going do you understand you don't have to be struck your stuck your you don't have to be stuck what is this free will we all got free will to change our situation in our lives. You know, a lot of it has to do with your thinking. A lot of it has to do with your thinking because you are what you eat. If you keep feeding to your mind all of the damn time, every time you look in the mirror, only thing you can see is the past. That's what your future is going to keep repeating. It's going to keep giving you the same visions. You know what I'm saying? Or the same shit in a different toilet. Or you're going to be so stuck in that that life will never grow around you. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you. You have that free will. And especially if you got a talent and gift, baby, go out there and, and, and fuck it up. Like, <laughs> look, going down, fuck it all the way up. Or whatever the hell that nigga said. Okay. Let your friends help you. Continue to allow your finances and career to flourish, but you need to, in order to get the recognition, you got to recognize it in yourself. You got to tap back into yourself. Give me guidance. What's the outcome for the future for February for my Aquarius? What is this? A loss of money? What the fuck is this about? It's just like someone being stabbed in the back in some type of way. Someone being cut out of some type of deal or some type of... I heard a financial commitment. A letter, yeah. You're going to get some type of letter about an ending of some type of financial commitment or assistance that was being given to you. What is this? Yeah, the three. Oh my goodness! But yeah, the three. Yeah. So this says this says a trap. So this can have something to do. I'm getting like government, like financial assistance or something like that. Um, this could also be in regards to like a third party situation. So something like I said. That's why I said I feel like it has something to do with government. Something with government. Cause I look at I look at government assistance like it's a trap because like once you get into getting financial help, it don't matter if it's food stamps, it don't matter if it's um uh 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 um Medicaid, if it's what um daycare assistance or whatever it is, like once you get used to relying on that it's a trap because you don't never like budget your life on having to pay for it yourself and it's like when they snatch this shit from you it fucks you up so warily financially and it does feel like you're getting cut off like someone cut your your money off or your 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 income for your food off your income to pay for your health insurance or something like that um i definitely feel like that something that was like a financial trap and it was like intended to kind of like make you reliant or dependent on it. Give me some more guidance. 
But then it, I'm not getting love though. I'm not getting love at all. What is this? Impediment. Because it was impeding your process. So like if you was getting some type of financial assistance, some type of financial aid, I just I feel like you don't need the shit because at the end of the day, with this eight of diamonds, it's like with the eight of diamonds, it's like you're financially growing and getting to where you need to go on your own. You don't need like the government or third party or uh, agency to kind of help you to get where you need to cut that shit off. Like you need to cut, you need to cut that shit off. And that's number 13 right there as well. That's the death card. That's the death card and the tarot. Like you need to get rid of that shit because it's impeding, it's impeding your success. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you need to figure out how you can move forward and do it on your own. You know, so, and this can also have to do with child support or something like that. Don't be surprised if whatever, for whatever reason, you don't get that check. You don't get that check for whatever reason. It has something to do with your finances and money. But it's like, I feel like you're good without it. You don't need that shit. What is this? Contrary displeasure. So, it's like, this thing is not going to be something that you like to hear. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some displeasure. But like I said, that nine of diamonds, you already got, like, you're good in any fucking way. You're just going to have to pay attention to how you're spending your money. Like, that's basically what the eight of diamonds means. Do you understand? Like, impeachment. Because... Like, however you used to spend, however you used to go and shop and do whatever, like, you maybe can't do that no more. Because once this communication comes in and lets you know that you cut off, you know, you might have to withdraw the number seven. That represents, like, spiritual analysis, withdraw knowledge, knowing something. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, analyzing something. And again, like I told you, the number 13 means something has come to an end. You need to stop. And then the number, um, the eight of diamonds means someone needing to pay attention attention to their finances and like strategizing how they're going to spend their money and budgeting and not like as okay so y'all might be getting y'all tax money too do not spend it before you get it that's basically what it's saying because at some point of time something is going to be cut off like where you're going to have to do something alone but you can do it alone you just got to watch your fucking spending that's all you understand what is this a visit and then we got a visit right here. There's something coming to for you in love as well. Look, they go to um the jack of the jack of hearts. So the jack of hearts represents like someone sending you some like type of poetry or some shit. And the visit is like you see someone saying, "Come and sit down. Let me introduce you to my friend here." Like, oh, this is like someone you introducing someone introducing you to a friend or something like someone setting you up uh -uh, i want to know what's going on care give me guidance about this visit what's going on with this visit what's going on with this visit here okay flatterer i told you Ooh, bitch Ooh, but infotism girl i swear to god if y'all do not grow the fuck up and get the fuck over this shit I swear to God, if y'all go out on a date and someone, if someone introduce you to someone fucking new and this person is trying to flatter you and trying to take you out and the only thing you acting like is old fucking bag lady or bag man, okay? I'm not talking about duffel bag man, bitch. I'm talking about bag man, okay? Like, you carrying your burdens with you. You too busy focusing on... Listen, the, 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 the tennis spades represents, like, complete ruin. Someone being focused on everything that they've lost and not focusing on how much that they can regain in the future. Just, like, being stuck in a rut and just not able to look at the positive aspects. Like, even though you might have lost everything, you get a chance to start all over. Like, so what? You lost your favorite teddy bear. Do you know how many teddy bears that there is? Like, girl, like, get the fuck over it. Like, we will get you another teddy bear. Like, girl, we will get you another teddy bear, girl. This is someone like, but it's not like him, and girl. What is this number eight? This number eight represents. Listen, you you gotta be in a place where you're able to give it, give and receive. Do you understand? 
Give and receive. That's like the look to the side. That's like the um infinity sign. Like as above, so below. If you keep yourself in this place where you're constantly crying and fussing and comparing people to your past and what you had in the past, you gonna stay. You gonna listen. You look hard head, make a soft ass. Study long, study wrong. You continue to study and put your focus on your study long, study wrong. You're going to miss very, very good opportunities that's right in front of you. You're going to be rich as a motherfucker, but lonelier than a bitch. Listen, you got free will to decide if you want to be stuck or if you want to be in this place where you are just completely so emotionally numb that you cannot pull yourself out of it to think about anything. Blessed in the... Uh-uh, we're not going to do this, y'all. Mm-mm. No, no, no. Y'all give me one more because we is not about to do this. What is this here? Uh-uh baby lots of money okay lots of money city house and then delay okay so this is it you guys you guys and that's what it, it might be that's what it might be whatever you're being cut out from I'm trying to tell you you're going to regain once you regain your focus you regain your heart's intention. You get out there, get a little bit more playful. Start being more lighthearted. Open yourself up to more friends and just start. I think her gaiety, like being gayful, being chillful, like really loving your life at the current state where you're fucking at, and stop crying over the shit from the past. Because as above, so below. If you if you lay down there, you gonna stay down there. Because that's all you asking the universe for is constant, constant reminders of this shit. But remember, tens represents endings. Once you, this, this shit is done. It's over. It's the past. Let it the fuck go. Eight represents taking it's a responsibility and authority too. Boss the fuck up. Stop being so childish. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone wants to introduce you. You got money. You got your own shit. You listen. You don't need this aid. You don't need this assistance from the government people. You don't need what? Someone don't want to pay their child support. Fuck them. You got your own money. You got your own shit. You understand what I'm saying? You have someone, your friends trying to help you, trying to go out. Don't think that you're not admired because you are. Because clearly someone wants to flatter you and wants to send you poems and sweet nothings and good morning texts and shit like that. Once you get your mind focused on that shit, listen, that's when the money will open up to you. Listen, this is the new beginnings. This is the ace of motherfucker wands, basically, okay? This is that new start. Want you... Once you get over this shit, do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, end it, delay it. Do you understand? Th th that's you. Look, you see the motherfucker throwing rocks. <laughs> it's like you're delaying your own self by your own negative, pessimistic thoughts. The ace of fucking spades represents death, ending. Do you understand? Realizing that sometimes we cause our own delay. Stop delaying yourself. In that type of behavior. Do you understand? Sticks and stones may break my bones. They fucking will. And it would delay your motherfuck. Do you understand? So stop fucking throwing this negative energy into the mix. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop it. Stop delaying yourself. The cash flow is going to come in. It's time to make a movement. You understand? Um, clubs and wands represents action. Being sporty. Being athletic. It's time to get your ass up and go, bitch. And it might mean... It might, and it says, what is this? A city house? It might be time to just fucking move and relocate and just get yourself around some fresh new energy. I'm seeing all these goddamn horses and shit all over the damn place. You might need to go somewhere else so that you can fucking refocus so that you're not around the same people in the same neighborhood. You might just need a whole fresh fucking start. Move to the city. Move to the city. It says, look, you 24, you young. Look, you got free will. You can do whatever the fuck you want to. And I damn sure don't see no children out here. Go do what the fuck you want to, young. Get on your high horse. Recommit yourself to yourself. And let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Anyway, Aquarius, this has been your reading. I fucking love y'all. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If y'all want to book with me, with Mira, Shira, Vera, only thing you got to do is click that about tab. All of the pricing is in the description. Send me a message on Instagram. As soon as I hit the payment receipt, as soon as I hit the payment receipt, as soon as I receive the payment receipt, I will schedule to book with you. Um, If I can book with you, if... 
if you book with me and I get your payment receipt the same day, if I have availability the same day, I would always reach out to you to check to see if we can get it done as soon as possible. So if I'm, you know, backed up or something, I will let you know. But I always make time for people that make time for me. So listen, as soon as you book, make sure that you send me a message on Instagram so that you can get your reading ASAP. Always Rocky. You already know how it is. I love you guys. Peace.